Did you know that koalas are not as harmless as you thought? And have you ever heard of the sweetest primate that can easily blow a man to kingdom come? If not, that's okay, because these animals aren't talked about very often, but I'm going to fix that. In this episode, I'll tell you about 10 dangerous animals that you should never mess with. Koala What do we know about koalas? They live in Australia, adore eucalyptus, and look very cute. Many people's knowledge about koalas is limited to these facts. At the same time, most people have no idea that koalas are dangerous animals, and there are two reasons for that. The first is their sharp teeth and claws. Yes, koalas are small, they only weigh 10 to 15 kilograms, but they know how to use their claws. Not for nothing, they actively use them while climbing trees. If a koala senses danger, it will immediately pounce on the enemy using razor-sharp claws. For a human, such an attack is unlikely to be fatal, but it won't be possible to escape without serious injuries. The good news is that koalas do not attack without reason. They only attack in case of aggression. The second reason koalas are dangerous is chlamydiosis. Yes, these Australian cuties suffer from an STD that occurs in humans. What? It's not the worst disease in the world, but it is very common and unpleasant. Under certain conditions, you can get chlamydiosis from a koala. So, if you go to Australia, you better keep a respectful distance from those creatures. Platypus Another Australian in this episode is the famous platypus, one of the most ridiculous and unusual creatures on the planet. It has a very strange face, it lays eggs as a mammal, and it's the only mammal that has a sense of electroreception, in other words, the ability to sense electrical signals from its environment. All in all, the platypus is a hodgepodge of different animals. Nature has mocked it thoroughly, but at the same time has endowed it with real power, making it a very dangerous creature. The platypus has spurs on its hind legs that contain venom, including hundreds of different toxins. The platypus venom is as powerful as the venom of some snakes and lizards. The victim of a very strong and painful platypus bite may be a small animal, but not a human being. However, this doesn't mean that the platypus can be bullied. The platypus venom causes severe pain and swelling develops at the site of the bite, which gradually spreads over the body. A person can experience the effects of a platypus bite for several months, and almost no painkillers can relieve the pain. In general, platypuses are funny and ridiculous creatures, but still they're very powerful animals that know how to fight back. Beaver Beavers are very cool creatures. They're super smart. Not for nothing, they're one of the main architects in the whole animal world. Some beaver dams are astonishing in their scale and complexity, and it makes us admire these toothy creatures. But in addition to their architectural skills, beavers have pretty good defense skills. These beasts are territorial. They'll fight fiercely with anyone who enters their territory. They have a short conversation with uninvited guests. Seeing a stranger on their territory, they snap and rush to attack. When attacking, beavers use their teeth. They're not only long and therefore a little ridiculous, but also very sharp. Think about it. How could it be otherwise if beavers are constantly sharpening wood and building new dams out of it? With their powerful teeth, beavers can easily bite a limb, and this, as you understand, can end badly. There have already been such precedents. For example, in 2013, a fisherman from Europe became a victim of a beaver attack. In general, beavers can and should be admired, but we should not forget about their power and dangerous abilities. Beavers are dangerous creatures, but compared to one animal that blows hundreds of people to kingdom come each year, they're quite harmless. Stay tuned to learn more about this animal, as well as to see a deceptively cute primate you shouldn't touch. Also, you'll learn about the most unusual and dangerous frogs on the planet with the fiercest venom, and see other dangerous animals you shouldn't mess with. Let's move on. Slow Loris Look at this creature. Isn't it wonderful? How did such a cutie end up in this episode? It's obviously harmless, and it has a funny name, Slow Loris. Can it do any harm? Oh, yes, it can. Slow lorises are a perfect example of how nature can confuse people, because these cuties with amazing eyes are extremely dangerous. Slow lorises are the only known genus of venomous primates. These primates have special glands on their elbows that produce a powerful toxin. In the wild, females coat their cubs with this toxin to keep them safe from predators. In captivity, however, the toxin can be used against humans. 
If the slow loris senses danger or sees an enemy approaching, it sucks the venom out of its elbow and bites a human. The bite of the slow loris is very painful. And it's not limited to the pain alone. The venom of the slow loris is capable of causing asphyxiation. So a person attacked by this primate may die. So don't make these cuties angry. The consequences can be the worst. Red Lionfish The fact that nature is deceptive is proved not only by the slow loris but also by the red lionfish. It's a fish with a beautiful name and an equally beautiful appearance. It reminds me something of if a peacock were a fish. The beautiful striped creature lives in the tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Ocean. You can find it off the coast of China, Japan, and Australia. This fish is really beautiful, but at the same time, it's very dangerous. The danger lurks in its beautiful fan-shaped fins. They're hidden, sharp, venomous spines. Pricked with the spines of this fish can be very painful. It causes a severe pain, followed by deterioration. In some cases, contact with a tropical sea beauty can end with paralysis of skeletal or respiratory muscles, which, as you know, can turn out to be fatal. These fish are also dangerous because they're not afraid of anyone, feeling themselves the kings of the seas. They swim wherever they want, which means they can swim to places where people swim. I think I just gave you another reason to be afraid of the ocean and sea. Box Jellyfish Let's stay in the sea a little longer. We all know that the jellyfish are not the most harmless creatures. They sting rather unpleasantly, but still bearable. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said of the box jellyfish. It can be described in two words, beautiful and deadly. Maybe if you find yourself in the sea and come across the box jellyfish, you'll want to swim closer to examine this beauty in detail. You should never do this as the box jellyfish produces potent venom. If a man is stung by the box jellyfish, then at the best case, he'll cause him a very severe pain. In the worst case, contact with the box jellyfish opens the human body cells, resulting in a leak of potassium, resulting in cardiovascular collapse and death within minutes. Even experienced divers wear special suits before diving into areas inhabited by these monsters. And on the beaches in Australia, workers stretch special nets in the water which prevents swimming box jellyfish in the swimming area for vacationers. I think these facts are enough to understand what these beautiful creatures are. Leopard Seal Did you know that leopards don't only live on the land? There are also sea leopards or leopard seals. However, the only thing they have in common with leopards is their name. This species got its name because of its spotted skin. But not only that, what makes sea leopards similar to leopards is that they're also aggressive predators. But you'll never know it, right? Look by yourself. What kind of predator can come out of this cute leopard seal, which looks like it smiles or laughs all the time? In fact, it's one of the most ruthless and violent predators on the planet, which often attacks people. In 2003, for example, British scientist Kirsty Brown became the victim of such an attack while diving in the water. The sea leopard dragged her underwater and swam away to a depth of 70 meters. It held Christine for several minutes and unfortunately, the woman was no longer able to swim out. So far, this is the only fatal human attack involving sea leopards, although repeated attacks by these predators are known. Sea leopards are not afraid to attack boats and often jump out of the water to grab a human by the leg. The targets of such attacks are usually workers of research stations. The reason for this behavior of sea leopards is their tendency to attack animals sitting on the edge of the ice from the water. From the water, it's not easy to recognize who the prey is. Hence the frequent attacks on unsuspecting humans. Poison Dart Frog If a person came across the poison dart frog, he or she will surely decide to get closer in order to get a good look, take a picture, or even touch it. And it's not surprising because you don't come across such bright and colorful frogs every day, right? Remember, you can look at these creatures and take pictures of them, but you should never touch them. The fact is that such a bright coloring indicates that the frog is extremely poisonous. The brighter the color, the more poison in the frog. The poison dart frog releases its poison through the skin, so a person can get very bad poisoning just by touching a frog. And in this case, he or she will be lucky. If the poison gets on the mucous membrane, then the death will be almost guaranteed. The poison dart frog poison is fierce. One gram is enough to kill two elephants. Don't want to touch this colorful creature? Hippopotamus Cartoons showing hippos as cute, kind, and clumsy creatures have given us a false impression of these animals. Yes, hippos are not predators, 
but at the same time, they kill more people every year than buffalo, lions, sharks, alligators, and wolves. Surprised? Actually, it makes sense. First, hippos are gigantic creatures. They often weigh three to four tons, have an unreal thick skin, and their mouth opens almost 180 degrees. Secondly, there are 36 very sharp teeth in the hippo's mouth. They can destroy an entire watermelon with one bite. Thirdly, hippos have excellent sight, smell, and hearing. And contrary to the stereotypes, they're very fast. And fourthly, these Africans are quite aggressive. If they're disturbed or approached during feeding or watering, it's not going to end well. This is proved by the sad statistics, according to which several hundreds of people become the victim of hippo attacks every year. Polar Bear We got the similar situation with the polar bears. In cartoons, they're often portrayed as kind and lovable. Moreover, the polar bears don't look as scary as the brown bears, but these animals look kindly only at zoos and on TV. When such a creature runs at a man somewhere in the Arctic, the man doesn't stand a chance. The polar bear is an extremely dangerous predator. It's the second largest terrestrial predator on the planet after the saltwater crocodile. If an attack by the brown bear can still be survived in some cases, an attack by the polar bear is almost always fatal. The only consolation is that these beautiful predators live in the Arctic at the North Pole, where there are not so many people. In addition, polar bears do not attack if they're not provoked. Nevertheless, it's still not worth trying to mess with these predators. That's all, guys. What other animals are better not to mess with? Let me know about them in the comments below. And if you liked the episode, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and don't forget to stay notified of upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you later.